Hello everyone and welcome to Multi-Rate Signal Processing Seminar 1. This seminar is about filter design and this is just some support material where I will talk about filter design using the Remes algorithm as it is asked for you to do in your Seminar 1 task. So the SciPy Python library has this function called Remes that calculate the filter coefficients for the finite impulse response filter whose transfer function minimizes the maximum error between the desired gain and the realized gain in the specified frequency bands using the Remes exchange algorithm. So the Remes exchange algorithm is from uh, 1934. It's quite old already and it was developed and published by Evgeny Yakovlevich Remes. I don't know how to pronounce that, but here you find the procedure, how the algorithm works. What we have here that it calculates the minimax optimal filter using the Remes exchange algorithm. And the minimax approximation algorithm is a method to find an approximation of a mathematical function that minimizes maximum error. If you are curious, you can go through how the Remes algorithm works. And there is also a paper which is, was an inspiration for the people who developed this um, SciPy Remes function. You can see the reference to these papers here. And this paper presents a general purpose computer prog program which is capable of designing a large class of optimum in the minimax sense FIR linear phase digital filters. So you can design low pass, high pass, band pass, band stop filters, multi pass band stop band filters, differentiators and so on. And here you have access to this paper. So now we will go through SciPy Hemis example. This will be a stop band filter. But before we start, let's just get some help. So I'm importing SciPy. From SciPy, I'm importing Signal, I'm importing Matplotlib to plot and NumPy for other computations. And let's get some help about the Remes function. As I mentioned before, it calculates the minimax optimal filter using the Remes exchange algorithm and it takes several parameters. So it, ta it takes the desired number of taps in the filter. So the number of taps is the number of terms in the filter or the filter order plus one. It takes the bands that needs to be a monotonic sequence containing the band edges and all elements must, must be non-negative and less than half the sampling frequency as given by Fs. The desired is a sequence half the size of bands containing the desired gain in each of the specified bands. You can also use the weight which is a relative weighting to give to each band region and the length of the weight has to be half of the length of the bands. Then we have this parameter. We have this parameter hats which is now deprecated and we should use fs instead and is the sampling frequency in hertz and it defaults to one. Then you also have the type of filter. You can have band pass, differentiator, Hilbert, so band pass, flat response in bands. This is the default differentiator is frequency proportional response in bands and Hilbert filter with odd symmetry that is type 3 for even order or type 4 for odd order linear phase filter. You can also determine the maximum number of iterations for the algorithm and Fs is the sampling frequency of the signal that defaults to one that replaced the Hertz. It returns an array a rank 1 array containing the coefficients of the optimal filter, the opto in this case in a minimax sense. Here we just have a function to plot the frequency response. Now we are determining here the parameters of our filter. So we are choosing a sample rate of 20 kilohertz. Here we define our bands, so the desired stop band. So we want from 6 kilohertz to 8 kilohertz to be our stop band and we must define also the transition width so the, the width of the transition from pass band to stop band in this case we are using hertz here we decide the size of our filter and this is the num taps 
here we have the edges. So the edges are this part here, which is 6 kilohertz. Then we have 6 kilohertz minus the transition band. We need to give time for our filter. We also have this edge here, which is the band 1, which is 8 kilohertz. We have the 0 here, and we have the half the sampling frequency here. So our frequency fre sampling frequency is 20k, and this is 0 0.5 20k, which is 10k. Here we are using Frexy to calculate our frequency response that will be plotted using this function that we are calling here and we have our band stop filter here. So that's it. I hope it helps for your understanding of the filter design using the Remes algorithm. So take a look at how the Remes works. It's not so trivial, but it's quite interesting. We will talk a lot about approximation and optimization in future, future lectures, future seminars. So it's good that you are familiar with such terms. Thank you for your time and I see you in another opportunity.